Well, good morning. It's good to huddle inside today. Um, and we have a limited number of announcements, uh, but I want to begin today with uh, Brett Ream and Rick Stolle from the Lima Parks Department talking about the uh, uh, variety of, of uh, youth activities and programming. Okay, it's good to be here, Mayor. We, uh, we are here to announce a couple of things. Um, one, uh, obviously our basketball league is well underway, and uh, I'll let Brett touch on that uh, some more. We also want to talk a little bit about some employment opportunities for, uh, for folks in the community coming up. It's, it's a process for us that begins uh, as early as February, uh, so we encourage uh, folks to get their applications in. And the reason we're here today is because Christmas break is coming up, and we, we, we know that we get a lot of our, our, our summer employment uh, kids, uh, college students, home, and they get in and get a chance to pick up an application, or they can go online and get that application and uh, get that information uh, filled out online and submitted online and just by going to the city's website going over to the recreation icon and then uh, there's a, a listing a drop-down list that will show up that would be forms and applications we would highly encourage uh, you to do that uh, get those in you can submit them electronically or submit them in person the hard copy to us uh, either way but uh, uh, Brett's going to talk about some of the recreational opportunities with that as far as maintenance goes, we have um, we hire a certain amount of uh, seasonal employees with our parks and maintenance, uh, with uh, ball diamond crews and our downtown people, and then of course all of our maintenance in in, in and around and throughout the park system. So, uh, if those interest you, uh, you're outside and, and you're enjoying the the weather of summer here in Lima, uh, but uh, it's it's a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, activity outside, working in the parks, man manicuring those spaces. So that, uh, that's what I was uh, uh, here to talk about today. Uh, again, the process, and we will start to you know, gather those and start looking at those opportunities as early as February, and um, then start interviewing folks uh, in, into March and April with the, with the hiring to take place uh, end of April, first part of, uh, at least the offers, the first part of, of May, so people can get online. So, Before you end your comments, could you also talk about our year-round interest in uh, referees, umpires, and the licensing and the preparation? Sure. Uh, you, know, you know, we, we have, um, you know, our, our youth basketball program, which is going on now, so uh, we, we, uh, we tend to start hiring those folks in October and, and November, uh, getting them informed and then getting them involved with us and Brett handles all that. Uh, we also, um, so it, the process, I guess, is, you know, what we'd like to do is we, we hire registered officials for our, for our ball games uh, with, with our youth basketball program. And, and um, we, um, we we're very blessed with the officials we have had in the past, and this year looks to be no different. Um, uh, again, registered officials doing youth basketball games according to the rules of our league um, is, is, is you know, is something that we ask them to adapt to, and they do a terrific job. If if you are interested in that process, or being involved in that process of, of youth basketball, if you, again a new official coming up, uh, or a, a you know an official that's been around for a while, we would encourage you to get in touch with us, get a hold of Brett here uh, at our office, um, uh, or contact him through email, and let him know that you're interested in being involved in the same thing with umpires. And I'll let Brett talk about that process that we will get to uh, will be happening in, in geez, we, we actually start play, Brett, in, in May, right? And so um, that, that process will be, you know, March, April as well. So um, it's, it's a great opportunity to get out and get involved and be a, uh, a really a, a good part, a big part of what, what we do in our youth, um, youth athletic leagues. So, Brett, some of those opportunities. Good morning. Um, the opportunities that we have available um, for the 2014 summer season um, would be playground coordinator, um, playground leader ones, playground leader twos, pool manager, assistant pool manager, a head lifeguard, lifeguards, pool cashiers, and ball diamond crew. Um, all of these positions pay a minimum of $7.95 an hour, which will be the minimum wage for 2014. Um, in regards to lifeguarding, 
Um, for several years, we had difficulty finding enough lifeguards. And for the past three years, we have instituted a reimbursement program that um, many organizations or entities cannot compete with that, that we feel that they can't compete with. Um, what we do is upon a sex successful completion of the summer um, employment, um, we offer a up to a $200 reimbursement for, for individuals receiving their lifeguard application or certification. So, you know, they can actually obtain their lifeguard certification for $50. Um, you know, once the summer's complete and they do everything that we ask them to do through their employment. Um, as Rick stated, they can, application can be picked up at our office or also online. Um, we are, we will be looking for umpires, as you asked earlier, um, for our boys baseball, youth softball, adult umpires, um, you know, and every one of those positions um, pays at least $20 a game. Um, so, you know, there are several opportunities coming up, and I know with the way the weather is outside and as cold as it is, it's kind of hard to think about summer, but um, as we say every year, we, it will warm up, um, you know, this summer. So I, I, I will guarantee that it will get warmer than what it is now. So, um, How many positions do we normally have? Um, it just depends, you know, the number of, of, the, of the availability of the, of the people that we hire. Um, you know, obviously the last thing we want to do is bring in 20 umpires and work them one or two games a week. Um, you know, but if we have that ability, I try to even it out as, as, as we schedule umpires as evenly as what I can. Um, and again, it's based on availability. If we have some high school kids that, uh, you know, have the, or the uh, understanding of the rules and want to work, Monday through Thursday night, they can work four games a week. Um, you know, ad for the adult situation, the majority of our games are played on Sunday nights, um, but we do have games on Mondays and also uh, on Fridays. Um, you know, so it just depends on what people's availability is for, um, you know, for as many games that they, that, that they want to work for us. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you. Um, we had great luck with our new website last year with people applying online and we'd encourage people, uh, particularly students that are away um, at school, parents locally can relay the information to the students and they can literally sign up regardless of where they are if they know they're going to be home for the summer. And we, uh, as you know, last year and, and we've actually been for a number of years uh, able to attract really high quality college students who have been our playground and uh, rec uh, leaders and for really the kind of role modeling we want with kids in our summer program that's exactly the kind of person that we want uh, to hire for that program so we we really want to see uh, college students uh, uh, connect with us and uh, take advantage of that opportunity for the summer. Um, the uh, next item that I'd like to uh, announce is that I will be in, in Washington on Friday. Um, I've been invited to represent the uh, U.S. Conference of Mayors uh, at a meeting with, um, uh, held in conjunction actually with the National League of Cities and the National Association of Counties. Uh, the three national local government organizations are um, meeting with U.S. EPA and Department of Justice officials to talk further about the affordability standards uh, relating to environmental uh, mandates. Um, U.S. EPA issued a, uh, a, a draft uh, policy uh, statement. Uh, we will be providing feedback on that in this meeting with them on Friday. Um, the general perspective is that uh, uh, there's a long way to go before we can step in front of our citizens at the local level and assure them that um, the kinds of um, costs that are being asked are reasonable. So um, uh, I'm uh, gladly participating in this and uh, uh, as I said, we'll be traveling there and back on Friday. Um, and that's all that we have uh, for today, so we will break down for interviews. Thank you very much.